Yep, dogs are known to be man's best friends. But some friendships are more complicated than others. Hey, you gotta be careful with a doggy that can hunt a leopard and take over, you know. If you're brave enough, get ready to meet 9 most dangerous Indian dog breeds. Counting down from number 9. Indian Mastiff or Bully Kutta Bully Kutta literally translates from Hindi Urdu as heavily wrinkled dog. Yeah, I can see that. Other names for it are Kumaon Mastiff, Sindh Mastiff, and Pakistani Bully. Given that it is the largest and strongest kind of Mastiff from North India, it could also be named Massive Mastiff. Adult Bully Kuddas reach 154 pounds in weight and 28 to 33 inches in height. This breed was created in India in the 16th century as a working dog that makes a great hunter and guard. Indian Mastiffs are energetic, intelligent, and protective, so they really become perfect hunting companions and can protect their owners from wild animals. But they can't really live with other pets because of their aggressive character they show towards them. So it's no surprise people have illegally organized dog fights with them in India and Pakistan. Veterinary experts don't recommend getting a bully kata if you're new to the dog owner's world because it needs proper training to be a loyal friend. Still, a lot of people, especially in the Punjab region, keep them as pets. Number 8. Caravan Hound or Mudhall Hound Caravan hounds, also known as Mudhall, Maratha, and Pashmi hounds, are popular pets in villages of Karnataka state in India. Just like Indian Mastiffs, they make great hunters and guards because of their great speed and stamina, and can hunt in any conditions. The Indian Army decided to make use of these awesome qualities and is currently testing caravan hounds as border protectors. To stay graceful and elegant as they are, these fellas need plenty of exercise, so keeping one of those in an apartment would be cruel. If you raise a caravan hound properly, giving it the kindness and respect it deserves, it grows into a loyal and protective friend for its owner. But it will never be friendly to strangers, so don't try to pet one of those if you ever get to meet them. And if the owner shows cruelty to a growing caravan pup, they shouldn't expect to be treated with love and respect either. Number 7. Himalayan Mastiff As you might guess from its name, Himalayan Mastiff comes from the Himalayan region. It's also known as Tibetan Mastiff and Drog Kai in Tibetan, which means dog which may be tied. So they were indeed tied outside of homes, tents, monasteries, and palaces for protection centuries ago. They would bark in the darkness, alarming their people of upcoming danger, and were most active at night, sleeping during the day. These massive dogs, weighing up to 220 pounds, still serve as family guardians with great protective instincts. So how did these bear-like fellas end up on the dangerous dog list, you might ask? Well, the Himalayan Mastiff sure has a flip side, and it is the fact that it will only be kind and loyal if you train it properly and constantly show it who is the boss in your family. It takes real patience and experience to make it a friendly guardian, and even then, it will still be hostile to other dogs. And when something goes wrong, it might as well forget all the kindness you taught it and take down two wolves on its own. Another interesting fact about them is that they hate warm weather. So the mountains are the perfect place for them. Number 6. Raja Pallium If you're a dog lover, you definitely remember how huge and muscular Great Danes are. Well, Raja Pallium's, also known as Polagard hounds, are about the same size at 25 to 30 inches tall. These muscular, heavy-built beauties served as wild boar hunting companions for the royal family and aristocrats in the southern Indian town of Raja Pallium and this is where they got their name from. Their superpower is their incredible sight. When trained properly, these gorgeous animals become perfectly dedicated one-man dogs. They are pretty reserved with feelings and won't jump around the owner like an anxious pup, but will be loyal till the end. However, their hunting instincts are still so strong, they can be really aggressive to strangers and other pets, so it's best to give them enough space on their own. Number 5. Canny Dog In Tamil language, canny stands for pure. When it comes to South Indian canny dogs, it's surely about the purity of their loyal hearts. 
They are also often called Maiden's Beastmasters because these pups are a popular gift to newlywed brides that's supposed to protect her from wild animals. And this graceful beauty sure can protect the maiden because it used to hunt deer, hare, and other rodents and can run really fast after the prey, and you can train it easily to follow hand signals of the master. The canny is light and muscular at the same time, has a large heart and a flexible spine much like a cheetah. It might seem like a shy and kinder version of a Doberman Pinscher, but it will do anything to defend its human in case of trouble, so you really don't want to mess with it. Number 4. Rampur Hound Rampur Hound comes from the northern Indian city of Rampur. It was no less than Maharaja's favorite breed for hunting lions, tigers, leopards, and panthers, and protecting them from jackals. It takes true courage, skill, and speed to take down a jackal. And the Rampurs sure do have all these qualities. They have an amazing stamina and can run at a speed of 42 miles per hour. Plus, they have an amazing balance, much like cats, and can gracefully walk on fences. These dogs need plenty of space to stretch their legs, so it's not the best idea to get one and keep it in your apartment. The Rampurs are intelligent and loyal to their owners, but don't exactly like to share them with anyone else. They get pretty aggressive as their protective instincts turn on when strangers or other pets approach their beloved human. And you don't want to mess around with them during those moments. Number 3. Bakarwal The Bakarwal breed comes from the Himalayan region. The word Bakarwal comes from Bakri, which means goat, because their original task was to protect livestock of nomads, including goats, from wolves and bears. One interesting fact about the Bakarwal, also known as Gujar Watchdog and Kameri Mastiff, is that it's vegetarian. This broad-shouldered, long-legged pup prefers milk and bread to any other kind of food. However, it does have quite a character, is super protective against enemies, and can be well-trained. No surprise the Indian Police Service uses it to capture militants. Number 2. Kambai the first known mention of Kambai is from the 15th century. At that time, they were mentioned in the records of southern Indian region of Tamil Nadu as great helpers in hunting wild boar, bison, and deer. They can still boast powerful jaws and a broad chest for protection against any intruders. If you see a Kambai, it might seem lazy and off-guard, but that's just an illusion. It only takes them a moment to transform into a ferocious guard. And while they are great family dogs that love kids, they are really aggressive to other dogs they don't know and are always ready to protect their humans from strangers. Number 1. Dahol Have you ever read the stories about Mowgli by Rudyard Kipling? He has an entire story dedicated to Dahol's called The Red Dog. And if you read it, you probably picture these fellas as bloodthirsty and aggressive creatures living in huge packs. In fact, it's not far from the truth. Even though they're pretty little, weighing 26 to 40 pounds, Dahols can kill animals that are 10 times larger than themselves. These African wild dogs look alike, can run at a speed of 34 miles per hour, and live in clans of around 12 dogs. They rarely kill livestock and mostly hunt in the wild of the central Indian highlands, but you can actually meet them all across the country. So, do you love dogs or are you afraid of them? Feel free to confess in the comment section below. Don't forget to give this video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.